Hi everybody, I hope you're doing okay out there. So today I'm gonna talk about a subject that I've seen comments on in my videos and I've also seen other villages, YouTubers discuss the subject. People have asked my opinion about it and why haven't I talked about it. Um, so I'm gonna talk about it and the topic we're talking about is swinging in the villages the promiscuous lifestyle of the villages, STDs, rumors related around that kind of stuff. So I'll give you my two cents on this. I've been here about eight months and I think the villages gets a bad rap on that whole thing. I haven't met a swinger that I know of. I may have, but if I did, uh, it wasn't made aware to me that they were swingers. I have no interest in that lifestyle, so I wouldn't know anything about it or I'm not in those circles. If they do exist here in the villages, I don't know where those rumors come from. All my experience living here in the villages has been nothing but nice and normal. It's a fun town for sure. There are a lot of singles here, given the fact that we have widows and widowers, we have divorcees, you know, like any other town, probably a lot more though, because we're, you know, an adult active community. And there's a lot of free time here. A lot of folks here are retired. So I would expect some of that stuff to happen naturally, right? Occur where people would be dating and wild stories would come about. But I'm just saying, I haven't seen any of this. Now, I haven't joined any clubs. I still work from home, so I haven't been that you know, active as a lot of people here. So I haven't seen everything that goes on in the villages. But all the experiences that I have had have been nothing but positive, normal, fun, people dancing on the squares. If I go out for a drink, people have just been nice and fun. Um, there's a, a good social life here, but I haven't seen anything, you know, out of the norm. Uh, there's no swinger SWAT team that's gonna invade your house and kidnap you and take you off and force you to be a swinger somewhere, as far as I know. I, I think the rumors are unfounded. I will say, that if we're known for that, I'm okay with it. Because I'd rather be known for a town that has swingers than a town that has high crime or trash on the side of the road. So if that's how people view our town, okay, whatever, I think it's ridiculous. But that means there's not a whole lot else here to pick on. So that's pretty good because your other towns of this size, and we have about, what, 140,000 people or something like that, should have a lot more problems than we do, and we don't. So rumors come out, and people like to, you know, bash places that they're not from or, or attack places that maybe they're envious that they don't live in. So these kind of things come out. It's just ridiculous to me. Who cares what people do with uh, consensual adults? Who gives a darn? I don't care what people are doing in their bedrooms. Why do you? Really? It's it's insane to me to, to look at the villages in that light. It's ridiculous. As all my experience here has been nothing but nice, good folks. Nobody has um, been inappropriate that I've noticed. It's a good town. Um, but there's a lot of people that live here, like I said. There's about 140,000 or so people. I don't know what the numbers are exactly. It's somewhere around there. So, of course, you're going to have people of all kinds of interests. <laughs> you know, so I, it's not, it wouldn't surprise me if they're swinging. What town doesn't have that? Uh, we got all kinds of people here. We have all kinds of people with... Um, a variety of backgrounds, interests, activities, uh, sexual preferences, racial backgrounds. They come from all over the country to come here and retire and live out their days and, and have fun. So I'm sure we're gonna have a lot, some of that stuff, right? And I'm not judging, I'm not against people doing whatever they want to make them happy as long as they're not hurting anybody else, I don't care. I'm just saying, I haven't seen any of it. So I think the villages having a reputation of that is a little ridiculous to me and I kind of wish it would go away. I don't think it represents what our town is about. You know, what I think the village is really about, we have a low crime rate. It's very clean and orderly. Um, it's, it's Florida, it's central Florida, so it's beautiful, you know, landscaping and weather. Um, that's what the villages is. It's, I feel like sometimes I'm living on a resort. 
and it's great here. So I, if you're thinking of coming here and you've heard stupid rumors like that and you have concerns about it, I wouldn't be concerned about it. If you're looking for information about becoming a swinger, you're at the wrong channel because I know nothing about it. You have to look elsewhere for that. Good luck. I don't know what to tell you. As far as the STD thing goes, maybe you need to check your dating habits or something and be more careful. You know, do I need to even say that? There are a lot of singles here and there's a lot of people with a lot of free time here. So it wouldn't surprise me if there's a lot of that kind of activity that would lead to those kind of results. But I think that would happen in any town with similar circumstances. But again, I know of none of it. And I don't think uh, if people are running around with STDs, they're gonna tell me about it anyway. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm just uh, very careful with health issues and things like that. And I'm not in the dating world, so I'm really not one to even speak of that here in the villages. But if I was, I'm an old fashioned guy, so I'd be a little bit more careful maybe. I don't know, I just don't think it would be a problem. You know, I get a lot of comments about how wild and crazy it is down here and sexually and all that. Let me tell you, I, I don't know where that comes from. I don't know if you're aware, for people that say that, I'm not sure they're aware of the demographic here. Now me personally, I don't know how to say this. I don't want to offend anybody. And I am referring to myself when I say this as well, and this is my age group. I've never wanted to see an elderly person naked. <laughs> so, I, the thought of uh, being involved in some sort of wild swinging activities around here, uh, it's just not my thing. So I'm not qualified to speak on that. Again, I'm not judging anybody. I don't care what anybody does. If they're happy and they're not hurting anybody and it's consensual, who cares? Like really? And I, I am okay. If that's the only thing we're known for, man, we live in a good town because there are towns with this size population that have horrible crime problems, that there's trash everywhere, the houses are falling apart and people aren't taking, I mean, I've seen it, I've lived in towns this size that were a mess. So the villages is great. Don't look at the villages through the lens of uh, the people's sexual things are it's just it really doesn't apply here it's a ridiculous rumor and even the loofah thing has been debunked a thousand times i don't know <laughs> i think people i mean maybe i could see the entertainment value in talking about it and asking questions and being silly it's, it is funny so i get it but the truth is that's not what the villages is about at all uh -uh. This is about an active lifestyle. This is about golfing. It's about enjoying the sunshine, dancing on the square, watching live bands, making friends, all that kind of stuff. That's what the Villages is pretty cool with that. And I'm sorry if any of you see it in any other light than that, because it's really a pretty cool town. I even think, uh, you know, I did a video on diversity, and I even think we, we have such a great opportunity of growing uh, that direction and being more diverse and and uh, it's a cool place well all right this was an absolute silly video and i feel almost embarrassed to put it out but i wanted to put my two cents out there people have asked and you know i didn't want to feel like i'm skirting around the subject or anything like that I, most of you guys that have watched my videos know i'm just your average guy i share my opinions and my experiences i i can't speak for anybody else this is my honest view and um, I do share the good and the bad and all that as best I see it. I just don't see anything of that wild around here that justifies the rumors. And that's, I guess, the point of this video. That's just my opinion. And again, if you're into that lifestyle, God bless you. No judgment. Thanks for keeping this a safe town and a friendly place to live. I don't know what else to say about it. So uh, to all you guys, as of making this video, I've hit 4,000 subscribers and I really appreciate that. It's really grown quicker than I anticipated. And uh, it's thanks to you guys for that. I know that your comments and your like and sharing and all that affects the algorithm. You know, I know you guys know that and I appreciate that. So I don't know where this channel is gonna go, 
but I plan on keep trucking with every now and then I do a little rant like this. I do stuff on home improvement and working around my house um, and what it's like to be a resident here. I got plenty of videos planned for the future relating to all kinds of subjects and um, the videos that I make of touring the area with my 360 camera has been very popular. So I appreciate you guys' support on that. I'll be doing more of those. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, and all that good stuff. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Take care of each other out there, and we'll catch you on the next video. See you. Bye.